Hi friends, today I'm going to be sharing with you my home and how it looked before and how it looks now. My home is not currently decorated, so I thought it was the best time to show you some before and afters. I live in a double wide mobile home. It's been a long process in getting my home to where it is now. The only thing that stayed was the sheetrock. The whole house was wrapped in wallpaper, so you'll kind of see some... Um, before pictures and then you'll see like the after so right here it was already when the walls were mudded but you'll see some clips where it was really bad when we took down the wallpaper but luckily we were able to fix it this is one of the rooms right here when we moved in it had some different kind of material for the walls so that was taken all down and we installed sheetrock here and you'll see here that the house was all wrapped in wallpaper. We took out everything that was surrounding the fireplace. The only thing that stayed was the fireplace. And even the ceilings, all of the rooms in the home had popcorn ceilings. So we had to remove that as well. In this clip, you can see how the walls looked once the wallpaper was removed. It looked really bad and scary but we were able to save the sheetrock so here it is all mudded and it looks a lot brighter already i lost a lot of my clips from when we moved in when i switched over to a new phone i just deleted it by accident and i wasn't able to get them back on my icloud but here you can see the master bedroom the door opening on the left is the master bathroom and then it's the closet on the right all of the carpet was removed and even the vinyl flooring that was in the kitchen and living room area. The master bedroom had French doors. That's why it has a large opening. So here's a clip of how it looked before. And this is during the process of the remodel. And this is how it looks now. This year I want to focus on some things that I want to finish up here in my home. I still have to do some baseboards in the rooms and I also want to do something about the fireplace. And I also want to redo the kitchen this year. I'm hoping to do that in the summertime once it starts warming up here because you can see that not much work has gone into the kitchen. It did have a lot of wallpaper. We did fix the side on the left where the sink is at. That was already done last year, 2021, where we installed a pantry. It looks a lot better now, but I would like to paint the cabinets white. I just think once they're painted, it will make the kitchen look complete since one side is currently white and the other side is that wood color. But here you can see how the kitchen was looking once we had moved in already. Those cabinets were all broken. And we did get new appliances. The only appliance that I plan to get probably this year, I'm hoping, is a new stove so it can match with all of the other ones. So here's the before of the kitchen and this is how it looks now. It looks a lot brighter. I really like how the left side is looking with the white cabinets. I just think it makes it look a lot nicer and a little bit more updated than the brown cabinets. All of the cabinets are MDF. So once summer comes along, I will be painting the other side of my kitchen. I'm so excited to start on that project. I just purchased a new spray gun or a spray machine um, to help in the process of that because I do wanna take the doors down and paint them outside. I didn't want to paint the cabinets by hand or with like the roller and a brush just because my hands get really tired and they start to feel tingling. I don't really like that feeling. So I invested in that spray gun, which I'm really excited about, but I do have to wait until it starts getting warmer here just because of the snow and it's really cold outside. This is how my master bedroom looked once we took down all of the wallpaper. It looked so, so scary, you guys. <laughs> Look how bad it looks. But now it looks like this. I love my bedroom. It has a really cozy feeling. I love all of my furniture so much. I redid all of the dressers and the nightstands in here. The only thing that I purchased new was the bed. And we did put new carpet down in all of the bedrooms. 
My bedroom looks so beautiful. I always enjoy decorating for the different seasons or holidays. I just currently have it like this because I have not put up any new decor up since taking down all of my Christmas decor. But since my house was looking so empty, I decided to make this video and show you guys the process. This picture was from when I came to see the house. I just wanted to include it in this clip because I lost the footage, but you can see that it had a swamp cooler. You can see there was like a little wall in between the living room and dining area, and you can see the popcorn ceiling a lot better.